Hi, Tyson Matrix here with Matrix for Amendry Lawyers. And I want to talk about settlement now. So let's say that your case has settled. What should you expect? Um, the first thing I want to say is the work is not done now that your case is settled. Um, most likely what's happened is, is that you've agreed to a distribution based upon um, the providers reducing their bills a little bit. Okay? And even if that's not the case, let's say you just said, you know, I'm happy with that settlement amount, get it done. Well, what we are doing in most cases is we are going to the medical providers, confirming balances, and we're also confirming any liens that you might have. We got to make sure you don't have any pending bankruptcies. We have to make sure you don't have any child support liens, any ERISA liens, any VA liens, any Medicare liens. We've got to confirm that you don't have any of these liens um, because we're legally obligated to do that. We've got to make sure that, that, that you don't have anything else out there that's outstanding. Um, by this point, we've usually done that, but we're, we're double checking, okay? We've got to double check just to make sure. That's a part of this process. Um, something else that we're doing is we're calling and we're double checking with the providers one last time to make sure you've not gotten any additional treatment that you've not told us about. So we've, we've got to do that to make sure that takes some time. Once we've done that, we will then send letters to the providers and the lien holders asking them to either waive their liens or reduce their liens or reduce their bills. Uh, that's part of the process and we're doing that to put more money in your pocket. It doesn't benefit us as a firm, um, it benefits you as the client. So for example, just to use easy math, let's say that uh, it's a $10,000 settlement and it's $5,000 in medical bills. Well, we'll try to get those reduced down to like $2,500 or $2,000 or less because that money, every single dollar that doesn't go to those providers goes straight into your pocket. Um, and I don't know about you, but I, I would like to have an additional $2,500 or $3,000. $3, that's what I want. That, that's a good deal for you. And um, sometimes it takes a week or two to do that. That's one part of this, right? So we're doing that, but we're also needing, it, needing to get the release signed. And, and so we'll get that from the insurance adjuster. Sometimes we have to negotiate that release because they'll try to sneak in terms that we didn't agree to, like confidentiality. That's a big one. Um, if they want confidentiality, they're gonna need to pay for it because I don't want them suing you later on down the road because you, you, you told some newspaper or you told a friend that had a friend at a newspaper and they, they published something about this defendant, right? So we're doing that to protect your interest. And once we get that release, we'll get it to you for you to sign so we can get that back to them. Some insurance companies will not release that check until they have a signed release. That's, it, it really, it's depends on the insurance company. It, and it really does depend, it's highly dependent on that. Some insurance companies will just send us the check and give us the release. It's pretty, it's, it's really quick. However, um, even though that's the case, let's say that they do send the check with the release, a release with the check. It sometimes takes four weeks to get that check. I don't know what takes so long. We constantly remind them. So know that we constantly remind the, the insurance company, where is our check? and we stay on them. It is out of our control. I can't stress that enough. And it's extremely frustrating for us sometimes because we can't get that check, right? And we're having to then go explain to you, sorry, we don't have the check yet. We don't have the check yet. We don't have the check yet. And sometimes I sense frustration from the clients towards us, even though we have no control over that check, okay? We've, we've reached the agreement and through their bureaucracy, sometimes it takes two to four weeks, that's why I tell clients, it give two to four weeks uh, for that check to come in, okay? If, it, if, if it's after that four week point, well, then there's some, there's some serious issues going on. But in that two to four weeks is when we typically expect that check. And again, a lot of it's because of their, their you know, company bureaucracy, but I can't stress this enough. It is out of our control other than harassing them on a daily basis. And we do, we email them, we, we, we call them, we call them regularly say, hey, where's our check? Where's our check? Where's our check? We do that a lot. Um, it's part of our systems that we do. We've got built-in processes to, to follow up about the check. Um, and But I can't stress enough, that is out of our control. Um, and we've, we've had a couple situations where they've dragged their feet to the point where we had to actually sue the insurance company. So there is a point where uh, we do need to step in and we will. Okay, I wanna, and I will say that. 
We do have a little bit of control if they drag their feet too much because we'll just file a lawsuit to, to enforce settlement. They drag their feet for another reason. They tried to put a lien holder on the check and we said, no, that's not, that's not okay. But they did drag their feet and give us the check and we sued them and they, they, they backed off and gave us the check. Okay, so they will do that, but it doesn't make a lot of sense for us to do that two, two and a half, three weeks, four weeks, because you gotta think about it. You gotta pay filing fees for that. That will come out of your settlement. We, we try to avoid doing that if we can. Um, so if I have any advice to you, don't start spending money just because you agreed to the settlement. Just wait, okay? Wait until you have the check. Um, you can start making plans if you want to, but just no. Two to four weeks is, is when you'll probably get your check. It could be longer, it could be less, but just, just be patient with us. There's some work that still needs to be done on your case, and then we'll get you the check as soon as we can. All right, if you have any, any questions about that, give us a call, 888-550-4026. Happy to talk to you about it, explain it to you when it comes to your particular file um, so we can help you understand the process a little bit more. But that's the basic process of how it works. Um, you can go also check out our YouTube channel. You, uh, tight, uh, actually, website, TysonMutrix.com. Check out our YouTube channel as well, uh, where we explain a lot of other things when it comes to the, the process. Hopefully, if you're one of our clients, you've seen that by now and you've watched some of those videos. Um, also, make sure you like us on Facebook because we share a lot of great information every day. All right, make it a great day. We'll see you.